New details tonight on the shootout in Fond du Lac that killed 21 year old state trooper Trevor Casper. Investigators say Casper demonstrated true courage even in his final moments. Katie Crowther live in Fond du Lac tonight with more on this. Katie. Stephen Carroll, there is a blue cross over the state patrol sign here at the state police headquarters in Fond du Lac, and flags are still at half staff for Trevor Casper, the youngest member of law enforcement killed in the line of duty in Wisconsin history. State Trooper Trevor Casper was on his first solo patrol when he saw bank robbery and murder suspect Stephen Snyder driving on I-41 and followed him into Fond du Lac. Based on the text messages, I think it's fair to say the suspect either thought he was going to be arrested or he would be dead based on what he sent to the friends and family. District Attorney Eric Tony says Snyder had multiple guns and more than 137 rounds of ammo on him. A handwritten manifesto was found in his car. But the manifesto showed an individual that was willing to die, was willing to die fighting, and had no regrets for what he did. In all, Snyder fired nine rounds at Casper, hitting him three times. But Casper fought back until his last breath, fatally shooting Snyder as he ran away. It all happened within 17 seconds. Tony says Casper showed more bravery in those seconds than most people do in a lifetime. A young man, 21 years old, put the community above himself to save the lives of others. Four months later, Casper's colleagues are still struggling to go on without him. It's been hard for us all, um, but uh, the time has slowly healing that wound. Um, I don't think we'll ever, ever uh, get over it, but uh, we will certainly come to grips with it. And authorities say Snyder was responsible for at least nine robberies in three different states dating back to 2011. Reporting live in Fond du Lac, Katie Crowther, today's TMJ4. Yeah, still tough for the department. Thank you very much, Katie. A